Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Two Point Hospital. So, let's continue where we left off and we have a few options now. We can go to Midtown University, we can go to Tumble, we can get 2 star rating in one of our existing hospitals. Let's go to Midtown University. It's required to unlock Flemington. Well, we could also go to Tumble, but let's do the university first. Sounds good to me. So, Mitan University. The Vice Chancellor of Mitan University has been impressed with our progress, and we've been invited to establish Mitan University Research and Teaching Hospital. This is a great opportunity for us. We can set up a research department and develop some new tech. We'll only be able to recruit student doctors and nurses here, so we'll need to train them up. Mitan University will provide us with extra funds for each person we train, and each research project we complete. Firstly though, we'll need a research license. The Ministry will grant us one if we can demonstrate our technical prowess by establishing a hospital with some upgraded machinery. Alright then, sounds good to me. No, we don't want to go back to the map. So, our objectives. Get hospital to level 3 and upgrade the machine. Alright then, we do not have a janitor with the proper skill, unfortunately. Alright, well, let's get started, shall we? We got some extra buildings from the looks of it. Uh, no, we don't, we would have to buy those. Alright, so, reception. We can actually get a reception room now. So, I suppose we could do that? Well, not much of a room, but a bigger reception like this. Yeah, but I don't see why not, we can do that. Like this. Hold on, how about two reception pods? And let's move the hatch. So that will be in the back. And two reception pods in the front. Here. Alright, sounds good to me. And we'll hire an assistant. Yeah, let's hire a four star assistant. Sounds good to me. One will be enough for now. We can hire another one a little bit later. So, GP's office, same as usual. Let's see, we could actually have one, like, over here. Oh, wait. Our patients will actually arrive from this direction. Okay, then, that's a little bit awkward. We can move. Hold on, can we move this entire thing? We should be able to. Edit. Yeah, we can move the whole thing. I don't think I can rotate it, but I can move the items. So, like I this. Okay, that's much, much better. Now, how about we get a GP's a office like this? That seems reasonable. Alright then, sounds the good to me. Still can't eat gravy, though. And the entrance. Let's say on this side, that's fine. And let's upgrade it to prestige level 2 right away. One more filling cabinet. That's almost enough, maybe a window on this side. And there we go, prestige level 2. Now we need to hire a doctor. We don't have much of a choice here, so... One star doctor. Then we can set up a pharmacy on this side. We can also do it like this to leave some more space in the middle. Yeah, sounds good to me. And a narrow corridor. Now, how much space do we have? Seven tiles or so? Alright. Let's do it like this. Maybe a window. I don't think we need Prestige Level 3 just yet. I don't want to spend too much money. Now we'll grab a nurse. Yep, not a lot of options here either. That's kind of the theme of this region, I suppose. Like the introduction said. Next up, what requires more space? Ward. We could get a ward right here. It won't actually be that big for a ward, but it will be enough. Yeah, it should be enough. So, like this. And then a few beds. 
Let's see, how many can we get? Probably not that many. But it should be enough. Four beds. Yeah, that's fine. Can we get a fifth? Yes, we can. Here, five beds. That's not too bad. And one more nerd needed. So, there you go. Temperature. Some parts of the county are quite cold or too hot. We will need to keep people comfortable by ensuring they are warm enough, but also not too warm. If people are too cold or too hot, they can become unhappy and may eventually leave. In cold locations, place radiators around the hospital. In hot locations, we need air conditioning. Use the temperature visualization mode to identify cold and hot areas of the hospital. Okay then. So, hold on, where exactly is that? Right here. Visualization modes, yep, that's the one. Okay, we got attractiveness. We have quite a lot of info here. We got health, patient happiness, staff happiness. There's the temperature, so we need radiators. First, hunger, staff energy, hygiene, toilet, boredom, and maintenance. Alright, I think we might have to unlock some radiators. Let's take a look. Well, we don't have one. Can we unlock some extras? I don't think so. Alright then. So, radiator. I guess we'll need one in each room. Most likely, yeah. Alright, fine by me. So, one over here, one over here. Actually, it might be better on this side. Let's move it. Yep, it'll be better next to the window. One in the ward. I think one will be enough for the ward. We can also place it in the middle, or at least closer to the center of the room. It will look a little bit awkward, but hey, whatever works, right? Maybe one for the reception. Yeah, I think so. To keep our staff happy. And probably one outside. Once we place a few benches. So let's get a few benches. One bench like this, then a radiator. And then another bench on the other side. Here, that looks reasonable. And then maybe a leaflet stand. Or a plant. Yep, plant is fine. Magazine rack on this side. And then we'll probably also need some drinks machines and snacks machines. Let's place them right here. And the bin. Over here is fine. And we'll obviously need a janitor. Ghost capture? Sure. We can get a janitor with ghost capture. Here, I think that will be enough for now. We have the radiators. We don't need to upgrade the machine, but unfortunately we can't do that just yet. Let's grab a staff room and a toilet. So, actually, let's maybe get a toilet first. Where should we build that? Doesn't have to be big. Maybe back here? Sounds good, but let's leave a little bit of space. So, like this. That should be fine. Doesn't have to be huge, this will be enough. Maybe even a little bit too much. So, like this. A hand dryer, a sink. That's almost level 3. Maybe a bin. And, I don't know, a poster? Clown poster, because why not? Every toilet needs a clown poster, right? Here. Looking good? So then we'll need a staff room, obviously. I would say right here. We could make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, you know what? Let's make it bigger. Why the heck not? Some couches. A few armchairs, some drinks machines, snacks machines to keep people happy, a bin, 
and that's level three. All right then, looking good. That's our stuff room. What else do we need? Well, quite a lot of things. General diagnosis. Sounds good. We should probably get that. Just like is always done. And psychiatry maybe, but not yet. Let's get general diagnosis first. I would say maybe somewhere around here. Yeah, this is fine. Doesn't have to be big. That's probably enough. Yeah, that's going to be enough. Okay, looks good. It will be a little bit cramped around here. But I just want to maximize the space. Here, we just need a bench. And a doctor. Or rather, a nurse, right? Anyway, a bench right here. And a radiator. Need to remember about those. So, radiator inside. That will do. And one radiator outside. Next to the bench. There's not quite enough space, actually. Yeah, this corridor is a little bit too narrow. We can, however, place it like this. Where the corner is. Here, that looks reasonable. That will be close enough. Sounds good. So, we need another nerds, I guess. Let's take a look. Not a lot of options. And we need a training room sometime soon. Since that's kind of the theme of this entire area. And let's grab another doctor right away. Since we'll be needing him soon enough. We still got quite a lot of money. Training required, yes. I'm well aware of that. Not now, obviously. That wasn't even an option because we don't have the training room. Let's grab the training room next. We are going to need that. Alright. We might have to train our own psychiatrists, so yeah. How about over here? We could make it pretty big. We probably don't need it to be that big. But we have the space, so... Sure. And we don't know just how big this hospital is going to get in the future. Probably pretty big. Once we start going for 2 star and 3 star ratings. So might as well plan for the future. Here, that's going to be more than enough. And let's get prestige level 4. Should be pretty easy with how big it is. Another window. Filling cabinet or two. A bin. We might need another bin outside. I don't know, somewhere around here. A plant. And a radiator, obviously. Next to the plant. Sounds good. That's almost level 4. Clan poster. Here, that's level 4. Nice one. Now, let's see if we can start some training. Let's see. Well, only one trainer available. But he has training masterclass. Stamina training, emotional intelligence, training masterclass. We could do stamina training. That is pretty nice. Or we can wait a little bit. Yeah, only one trainer available. That is disappointing. We still need to upgrade the machine, but we can't. Oh, there we go. No, that's maintenance. That's not the skill we need. Okay, never mind. We will get a new applicant in 10 days. Hopefully he will have the required skill. I guess we'll find out. And we are going to need another GP's office at this rate. We are going to need another GP's office anyway. So we might as well just build it right away. As we expand. So let's build it right away. Here. That will do. And get it to level 2 maybe. Yep, that should be easy enough. A 
implant uh, actually no radiator come on there all right looking good then a bench or two and we'll probably need a radiator outside do we need one outside no there's one pretty close should be fine yeah that should be more than fine oh someone died unfortunately oh well it happens staff training required right what do we need to do just train all right then so we only have one trainer available I guess that will have to be it. Let's do stamina training. And we'll send some more people. We can send one doctor. And another nurse. That might be a little bit excessive. Yeah, that's a little bit excessive. I don't want them to be unavailable. New illness. What do you want? I'm not usually one for suggestions, but the other day I had this great idea and I can't stop thinking about it. What if we were to, like, cure some people? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> yes, yes, it would. Challenge, cure 10 patients. We can do that. And new illness discovered. Okay then, so cure 10 patients in 90 days. That person is totally cured. We'll probably have to hire another nurse or a doctor now that these people are in training. Yep. And we'll need more facilities. New from oh, did our janitor have the skill to remove that ghost? I think he did. Stuff. Yes, he did actually. Ghost capture. So he will take care of that. In fact, we can watch him do it. Here, he will vacuum up the ghost. Bungle rocket watch today. So, and watch where are the patients? Fly. I thought we'll get a large group of patients. Or do we just need to cure this 10 patients? Looks like we just need to cure 10 patients. Alright, let's grab another doctor because we only got two at the moment. And more rooms. What do we need? What do we not have yet? We got a pharmacy, we got a GP's offices. We could build cardiology. We don't have a psychiatrist, so that's a bit pointless. And we're missing a nurse right now. Well, there's no point building a psychiatry because, again, we don't have a psychiatrist. Let's wait and see what kinds of patients we get. And then we can build either a deluxe clinic, pants lab, or clown clinic depending on what exactly we'll need. And let's check the janitors. Nope, that's not what we need. Nine days for another applicant. Oh, we got a pretty good assistant available. Customer service free. I like that. And we'll need a second assistant anyway. Nothing interesting in here. Carry on then. We can speed things up, I think. That should be fine. I get paid to announce. Not you can play. Looking good so far. What else is happening? Staff promotion, yep. Promote. Mockstar emergency. Yeah, we can't do this one. Because we cannot get a psychiatrist. I will have to say no, unfortunately. Let's check the heat level. Temperature. Seems mostly fine. Oh yeah, we are going to need a radiator in the staff room. Alright, fair enough. Just in the middle. That's fine. Doesn't look pretty, but whatever. That's not its function. Everything else looks mostly fine. We could probably use one around here. Well, no, we don't need benches in this area, so no. Alright then. We got 425 kodosh. We could unlock something fancy sometime soon. But maybe not just yet. 3 out of 10 patients cured. 
We might be a little bit too slow here. Yeah, I think we'll be too slow. But we'll see. What do you have? What is that supposed to be? That's some new illness. Alright. Interesting. Training required. Yes, I'm aware. Well then. What do we want to get this time? More stamina training? It is quite nice. I wouldn't mind more stamina training. We can send one doctor and one nurse. That sounds reasonable. Off you go. We still need to upgrade that machine. There we go, we got a janitor with mechanics. That's exactly what we needed. And he also has training masterclass. Here you go. Now we can start upgrading. So first we'll upgrade the drug mixer. Let's wait for the patient first. Actually, I don't think it matters. Just queue up the upgrade. And the scan machine. Yep, we can upgrade that too. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, we will definitely not cure 10 patients in time, I'm afraid. We'll be too slow. Oh well. Staff promotion, yep, promote. I can't train you, sorry. Yep, three patients cured. Alright, let's build some more facilities, shall we? Like Pan's lab. Yeah, this one requires a lot of space. We could get a deluxe clinic, that one doesn't require as much. Yep, and then we'll have enough space for one more room. That sounds like a good idea to me. And a radiator. There you go. I don't think we need one outside, no. There's a radiator in the area. Just need another bench. And maybe a magazine rack. So that people won't get too bored. Looks reasonable. What else? Is this enough for a clown clinic? No, it's not, unfortunately. Alright then, never mind. Can we fit anything in here? Well, psychiatry. That is enough space for psychiatry, but first we need an actual psychiatrist. So I guess I'll just leave this spot free. For a psychiatrist. And unfortunately we failed to cure enough patients. Oh well. Here's another promotion. And we are upgrading the machine. Training is almost done. Nice one. So this should complete our objective. As soon as we finish the upgrade. Let's speed things up. Another promotion. Come on guys, hurry up. Are you done yet? Pretty good assistance available, but we don't need a third assistant. No, not really. Here, research license. Great news, the Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a research license. This will allow any of our hospitals to research new machines, upgrades and more. To kick off a research project, we'll need a research room and a doctor with research qualification. Diagnosis and treatment of patients can also contribute to research progress. Harvesting ghosts can also be very enlightening. <laughs> So, you're saying we should kill people on purpose? <laughs> I mean, by accident, obviously, that's what I meant. Totally an accident. Well, we can build a research room right away. The only problem is that we don't actually have anyone with a research license. So, that's a bit of a problem. As in, with research skill. Train doctor in research. Well, if only we had a trainer for that. But alas, we do not. So that's a bit of a problem. Yeah.
Well, we can get a guest trainer. I think we'll have to. We don't really have much of a choice. Alright, we'll get a guest trainer. And let's train two doctors in research. That seems reasonable. Upfront fee will be 10,000. Alright, let's get it done, sure. And then we can get a guest trainer for a psychiatrist. Because we are going to need psychiatry, obviously. No illness, lazy bones. Treatment in the ward. Alright then. And now our objective is to complete chromotherapy research project. And cure at least one patient in chromotherapy. Oh, was that like the grey person? I think that was it. At least sounds like it. Another doctor, maybe? We got three doctors. Alright, let's get another one. Because quite a few of ours will be busy training. Looking good so far. So, what else do we need? Let's maybe check if we can unlock something fun. Something that will actually be useful. Like luxury snacks machine. Reduces hunger and increases happiness. Reduces first gives energy buzz. Oh, and we can also upgrade the deluxe machine. Alright, sounds good to me. So, let's see. The regular snacks machine only reduces hunger. Same with the drinks machine, it only reduces thirst. While the luxury snacks machine also increases happiness. I like that. Big bean. We don't need air conditioning. Arcade machine, 500. Reduces boredom. We are pretty close to 500. We could wait to get 500 and then get the arcade machine. Drinking fountain. Reduces first, but not very hygienic. You know what, let's wait to get 500 and then we'll unlock the arcade machine. <laughs> because obviously every good hospital needs arcade machines, right? Well, yeah. I think someone just died somewhere. Yep, right here in the ward. Oh well, sucks to be him. That's a lot of people waiting in the queue. Well then. Staff promotion, yeah, yeah, you can have more money. Challenge, get a level 4 staff room. We should be able to do that. That might require some unlocks, so maybe we'll have to change our plans for how to use Kudosh. Well, let's see what we can do. Should be doable. It's level 4 right now. Hey, wait, what? No, it's level 3. This is our progress to level 4. Right. Yeah, we'll probably need some fancy new unlocks. We can always place a few posters. But they don't increase prestige that much. We will definitely need some unlocks. Let's pause for a moment. So what do we get? Trophy case. Increases hospital attractiveness and room prestige. That will cost us 100. What else? Display skeleton. Oh, increases hospital attractiveness and plus 1% training speed. 1% doesn't seem like a whole lot, but hey, it's a training speed bonus. And let's grab that. And I assume we can place more than one and they will stack. So, one in the corner. How's that? Yeah, we'll need several. It's going to be hard to get level 4. Yeah. Well, might still be doable. It will definitely help that our room is pretty big. So one more over here. I think we'll need more unlocks. So what else can we get? Anatomy poster. Yep, that also increases training speed. So let's get that. We have plenty of space on the walls. Uh, that looks a little bit awkward, but whatever. Here. Behind the skeleton. Seems appropriate. We are slightly more than halfway there. Brain anatomy poster. What else? 
Some of these are pretty cheap. We got 95. Maybe something that doesn't go on the wall? Well, there's not a whole lot. What else increases prestige? Mostly posters, from the looks of it. Well then... Fine, brain anatomy poster. That's so many posters. We'll just have to spam the walls with posters to get this done. But hey, it does increase training speed. So it's not useless. Here, we can get level 4 just from posters alone, I think. There's not too much space left. One last poster. Here. There we go. Nice one. So that will definitely complete the objective. That was actually level 5. So I'm not sure why it didn't register. Oh wait, that's supposed to be staff room, not the training room. Alright then. Well then, I guess we'll work on the staff room. But we got a level 5 training room now, that will be quite useful. What do we get in here? We could get some more plants, although they don't really increase prestige. Nope. A few posters. Those do increase prestige. Okay then. Anatomy poster. Brain anatomy poster. Shouldn't be too hard. Dartboard. Unfortunately, we cannot afford that. Not enough points for the unlock. Locker will increase room prestige. We can get a few of those. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard, actually. A few more lockers. Seems appropriate. Another armchair. Almost done. A plant. You're listening to Nigel Bigger and a poster. Here, that's level 4. Nice one. So that's done. Welcome we got a level 4 staff room and a level 5 training room. I've not had a level 5 so training Nigel room before. <laughs> I'm here Can to we see to entertain and to bring the total value of the modifiers right now? To your drab I don't think lives. so. I was hoping to see by how much we increase the training speed, as I believe but it like doesn't look them, like do not that information is available in here. Impulse. I have no intention of playing any it's not very trivial. comfortable, apparently. Yep, we can't see that information, unfortunately. Alright, that's fine. We did increase training speed, that's the important part. Speaking of training, let's get some more training done. So we are going to need psychiatrists. Let's get a guest trainer for that. And we'll train both our doctors. Two psychiatrists should be enough, initially. So let's get that done. And we should probably hire a fifth doctor at this point. Alright, let's get the cheapest one. Here you go. And that's a lot of notifications. Diagnosis decision. One of our patients has been sent to all of our diagnosis rooms, but we're only 82% sure of the diagnosis. Right, let's get the patient to wait. We can still build cardio. Night fever emergency. Seven patients. Yeah, that requires a psychiatrist. We can't handle that just yet. Health inspection. Impress the VIP with a nice hospital. Alright, we can do that. So, we need more diagnostic rooms. We'll build cardiology right here. I know that was supposed to be psychiatrist, but we'll have to build the psychiatrist elsewhere, I'm afraid. So, that's basically it. We should probably get a radiator inside. So, radiator in here. There. And a bench. And that will probably require another radiator. Because it will be a little bit cold in the corner. Alright then. 
That's fine. Maybe a bin. And one more radiator. That will do. Yep, temperature seems to be fine. I don't think we need a radiator in the toilet, do we? Well, I mean, we can still place one, I suppose. Because why the heck not? There. Looks good enough. So. We finished training a doctor in research, now we are going to need an actual research room. So, that means we need to buy another plot. Unfortunately. Let's get this one then. 30,000, we still got 100k. And we got the yearly awards now. Let's see what we won. Rising Star, Employer of the Year. Best teaching hospital. Alright then. So, research. Let's get that started, shall we? Down here. So, we'll just build it right here. The corner looks perfect for that. And let's see. Research pod, researcher's desk. I assume we can build more than one to speed things up. Holistics is apparently going to open another of its nature yeah, we can. for sick people with more so sex how's that? than money. Let's get it to level 3. I have equal amounts of sense and money. Like this. Yep, that's good enough. You know what else we probably need? Some extinguishers. To start a research project, either click on the research pod or drop a researcher into the room. In the research screen, you can select a project from the available projects list. Once a project has been started, you'll need a doctor with a research qualification to carry out the work. They will contribute research to the project over time, based on their research skill. Research is shared across the whole organization, as are the discoveries we make. You can start a project in one hospital and then continue work on it in another hospital. Okay then, so... Let's see, this is our actual objective. Chromotherapy. But we have a few other projects available. Fluid analysis. Injection room. X-ray. Let's get chromotherapy done, since that's our actual objective. So that's what we can work on. New illness discovered. Chromotherapy required. Send patient home. Now, how about that psychiatrist, because we really need one by now. Let's see. Almost done. Here, it's done. Alright then, so now... We can build a psychiatry, let's get that done right away. We've been awarded 5000 for completion of some training. Right. Let's not make this too big, because there's enough space for at least one more facility. This will do just fine. And let's increase the prestige level. Level 2 will be fine for now, we can increase the level later. Staff promotion, yep. Let's get a bench or two. And a radiator. So something like this. And then a radiator in the middle. And radiator inside the actual room. Yep. And in here as well. Sounds good to me. There. That will be just fine. Looking good to me. And something to reduce their boredom, perhaps. Let's take a look. Magazine rack. We can place one here. And maybe some drinks machines. Snacks machines. Here, snack machine. And the drinks machine. Not quite enough space. We can have it on this side. That seems reasonable. Here. And maybe a bin. That will do. We now bring you this segment, Sir Nigel Review. And how about an extinguisher? I take a look at the new we don't have too many of those. In fact, we barely have any place at all. And what a delight if we had the fire right now, that would be pretty bad, I would say. Scrambled One inside. And toast are particularly good. That's I probably fine. Salt shakers. Maybe one around here as well. This should be enough, I think.
Looks good enough to me. 17% done so far. It's going pretty quickly. What else is happening? New illness. Treatment in our pharmacy. 5000. 8 reputation and 10 kudosh. So that's 50. We can't do chromotherapy yet, so send patient home, I'm afraid. Alright. Looking pretty good so far. What other rooms do we need? We have cardiology, we have ward, general diagnosis, pharmacy, GP's office. We mostly need specialized treatment, like Pan's lab or clown clinic. That's pretty much it. One upgrade available. Oh, okay. Now it's already upgraded. I think everything is upgraded. Okay, carry on then. So what can we fit in here? Is this enough space for a pan's lab? Not quite. It could be, if we made it slightly bigger. How about clown clinic? Yeah, that's not enough room for that either. Well then. Yeah, that's not enough room at all. It needs to be at least four tiles wide. Does the clown clinic also need to be four tiles wide? Yep, apparently so. Never mind then. We could get another GP's office. We might need a third one eventually. Well, there's a good chance we'll need a third one eventually. But I don't think we have excessive cues just yet. No, we do not. We might need another nurse from the looks of it. We got four nurses right now. And none of them are in training. Alright, fine, let's get another nurse. And let's start some more training, shall we? What else do we actually need right now? Good question. Which skills do we not have at all? Well... Diagnostics. Yeah, we don't have anyone with diagnostics, really? No, apparently not. Okay, we could get that. Let's pause for a moment. We could also get treatment. I think that's more useful than diagnostics. Because with a better treatment skill, the chance of a patient dying is lower. Staff resignation warning, we'll check that in just a moment. Alright, let's get treatment. We'll use a guest trainer. And we can send quite a few people now. So, I would say two nurses and two doctors, maybe. Alright, let's go with that. Let's send the doctor with no training at all. And this guy has research. Is that all we got? Yep, looks like that's all we got. Maybe we need another doctor. Let's get another doctor then. There you go. And we can send that person. Let's try that again. Treatment. Guest trainer. And then nurse. Another nurse. Doctor. And another doctor. Here, two nurses and two doctors. That will take 33 days. Sounds good to me. What's going on? Underpaid, very thirsty, desperate for the toilet. Okay. We might want to work on that a little bit. Staff promotion. What do you want? Get a level 4 psychiatry. We could get that. It will give us more kudosh. Okay, fine, we can do that. Thing is, that will require a lot of upgrades. Because he's level 2 right now. So that's not exactly amazing. Let's place a few windows, that's an easy way to increase prestige. Some filling cabinets. One over here, that will do. 
and probably a few posters. Well, yeah, multiple posters, in fact. We can place a plant. Right here will do. That's almost level 3. This place skeleton, that was pretty good for prestige. Yep. And a few posters. It doesn't say how much exactly the prestige is worth, unfortunately. We can kind of judge it. Yeah, I think this one was worth more. Yeah, anatomy and brain anatomy posters seem to be worth more than a clown poster. I suppose that makes sense. Here. They seem a little bit out of place in a psychiatrist office, but whatever. We have walls, that's free real estate. We can't place anything else on the walls, just posters. Yeah, this will require a few display skeletons. Again, that's a little bit out of place for a psychiatrist, but whatever, I need to increase prestige level. Feeling cabinet? Yeah, it's not that easy. We might have to make this room a little bit bigger, because I'm running out of space. Yep, we are pretty much out of space already. We could make it much, much bigger. That is an option. We could just use all this remaining space, honestly. And maybe something like this. And that seems reasonable, actually. Let's do it like that, then. Make it a little bit smaller. Then place windows again. Well, actually, we'll probably use this space on the left, so no windows. But we will definitely use the skeletons. Here's another one. Now we have a lot more space. So, a few more posters. Just need to move them. Grab that skeleton again. The skeletons can be a warning. <laughs> this is what you're going to be if you don't stop being crazy. Okay, a few more. That should be enough space to get it done. We need level 4. We are almost at level 4 already. So, that corner is too small, I'm afraid. On this side. Here, that's almost level 4 now. There we go, level 4. There. Something got sold. Alright, never mind, we can fix it. Cabinet or two. And what else? Here, now it's level 4. That took long enough, but that will keep our doctor happy. Apparently he got kicked out. <laughs> Sorry. Let's move that radiator. I'm just going to place it in the middle. Looks a little bit weird like that, but whatever. Maintenance announcement. Automated snack or we can... Yeah, just keep it here, it's fine. Unless we want to place it like this. We can always move it later, if necessary. So, happiness to 20%, current happiness 6. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can get that done. Let's see, she's complaining about a lot of things. Well then, she needs the toilet, she's thirsty, and she's unhappy. Yeah, we might need another toilet. Where's the closest toilet anyway? Yeah, it's right here. We can grab a drinks machine. I can place one literally inside the office, which seems like a weird thing to do. Let's place one close to the office, like just outside, for example. Drinks machine. And snacks machine. And we can increase the prestige level of GP's office to make her a little bit happier. So get it to level 3. We can do it quite easily now, with the display skeleton. Yep. 
That's a pretty damn good way to increase prestige. But hey, it did cost us 300 kudos to unlock, so it better be good. Here, maybe a plant in the middle, or some posters. Yeah, posters are good enough. Here, that's a level 3. That should make her a little bit happier. Hopefully it will be enough. The challenge is done, we got level 4 psychiatry. Eight people waiting in the queue to GP's office. Two point but I don't think we need a third one just yet. Our Circus incident. Field, Sally Fig Cured seven patients just with just with infection. We can do that, field. we'll just need As to what she was on, the right facility. I, tells me I wonder if one will be enough. We could build a second one temporarily and then remove it later. That's a possibility. So how about we... Actually, we can leave that radiator inside. But then we'll need one more outside. This is good enough. And let's hire a nerd right away. And we should probably check training. More items. Research project complete. Oh, nice. So that unlocks yet another facility. Hold on, let's finish... This first. One more bench. There you go. That should be fine. Actually, we got a lot of clowns incoming. So let's place at least one more bench. Like so. And maybe a bin or something. Here. Actually, that probably wasn't necessary, but we can keep it anyway. Seventeen out of 90 days. And now we need chromotherapy. Let's take a look. I never actually built one. So how much space do we need for that? This is going to be enough. Bit of a weird placement. Can we do better than that? We can. Yeah, like this. That seems reasonable. There you go. Done. And the bench. It should be close enough to the radiator. We can check. Yeah, it's close enough. It looks close enough. Carry on then. Staff promotion. And we should start another research project. What can we get? Fluid analysis. Sounds useful. Design a machine to extract range of fluids from patients. For diagnostic purposes primarily, but also just for fun. We can also get x-ray. That's a bit more expensive. Injection room. Okay. Let's get fluid analysis. And how about more training? Ten patients in the queue. Yeah, we might need a third GP's office at this rate. I think we kind of do, actually. Yeah, we definitely do. It will have to be all the way on this side. But alright. It should reduce the queues a little bit. Just build one here. And increase the prestige level slightly. To level 2 at least. Here, that's good enough. And a bench or two. We might need another radiator. Let's move this one slightly to the left. And then we'll get another radiator. That should be just fine. Here's a guy in need of chromotherapy, I think. At least it seems like it. Right now he's waiting for the GP's office. How are the clowns going? Cured one, failed three. That's not going very well, apparently. Yeah, we are going to fail this one, I'm afraid. Oh well, you tried. How about some more training? Where's our training room? Right here. 
Let's put it to good use, shall we? Read the two points so what do we need? All your local news. Treatment. Two points of view. Diagnostics. We don't have anyone with diagnostic skill. You so let's get a true. guest trainer. And so we'll send a few people. Let's say two nurses. And two doctors. This guy has research skill. We might need to hire more doctors. Alright, let's grab one more doctor. And now we can do it. So, diagnostics. Guest trainer. A doctor. A nurse. Another nurse. And a second doctor. Maybe the one with psychiatry. That's not a bad idea. Alright, sounds good to me. Uh, let's do that. Staff promotion. Yep. These queues are getting pretty bad. Well, hopefully free GP's offices are going to be enough. We might need another nerds while ours are gone training. That's going to be seven doctors and seven nurses. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Cured one, failed four. Oh well, you tried. Not hard enough, apparently. Are we going to cure someone in chromotherapy? Is anyone even waiting in the cure right now? Yeah, one person is waiting. Okay then. So that should happen any day now. We just need a nurse. Here, we got a nurse. Is anyone coming? GP's office appointment. Who's actually waiting in the queue here? Oh, nobody is waiting in the queue anymore. Well then, never mind. But we'll get someone eventually. How's the training going? We need our nurses back. Here. It's halfway done already. Alright, let's spin things up a little bit. We will definitely fail the circus incident, but oh well. I can live with that. Apparently they cannot. Another 5,000 for completion of the training. It's not actually completed yet. Oh, there we go. We cured a patient in chromotherapy. So that gives us one star. We unlocked encyclopedia bookcase and the locks are locks free. And we got 100 kudosh, so now we got 160. Alright then. So let's go back to the map. Now, if we do tumble, we would unlock Flemington. But that's going to happen in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time for some more Two Point Hospital. Bye bye.